Okay, welcome to the tutorial. This is the second part. I'm gonna show you how to do the materials for your model. So first you go back into the Blender. I'm gonna start a new one. Delete everything. Import your import your model. Click it once or twice to make it orange. Then you click the material properties and rename the material to whatever. This is pretty much the VMT name the model is looking for. So I'm gonna rename it to test 10 or something. And then you just export it. In this case, oh, I just have to specify the export directory, which in this case is my desktop. There we go. Now it's exported and now we have to compile it. Now nothing happened because I have not updated the actual materials. So this is the VMT part. Uh, if you look at my QC, you can see that I have a CD material path called models test move lol. I'm currently in materials, so I have to find models. There we go, models. Then we go with test. I've created these uh, folders before. You probably don't have these folders, so you just have to create them manually. Here we go. I have a VMT already here. It's really simple, just vertically generic. And the texture. Now, because I, in Blender, my VMT is called test 10, I have to rename this to test 10. And now the up the changes should reflect in hammer. If they do not reflect in hammer, then I have to just reopen hammer. There we go. It changed to rev um, to the material light I had specified, which in this case is this pretty shit and we can try the second material which will work a bit better because it's a seamless texture you don't need to do UV for seamless textures not really at least and then you just rename it to metal 6 and it's probably not gonna update so just start hammer again There we go. We have a custom custom material on a custom model. And as you can see, sequences are broken. I did not explain this in the first first one, first uh, tip of the day or whatever, but you have to go into the QC and whenever you have a moving model, you have to remove the static prop. Now, proper adds this automatically static props have better lighting so yeah but you just can't move them that's the that's the shitty part so just remove it and recompile and now it moves like magic yeah well now I'm gonna do some optional step as you saw with the first image it looked a bit shit it didn't look at all like this so if you want to do like custom custom uh, materials on your custom model that like look correct then you just have to go into UV editing then you have to apply the texture in your ham in your blender view so you can see it this is just a visual thing it's not actually doing anything so let's just do this import image texture in this case it's, it's on my desktop as PNG it, it you cannot import to BTF so you have to convert them and now we go to material preview and this is how it looks like in hammer and this is not what we want so an easy way to fixing this is would be to go into your view selecting it pressing U and doing project from view and probably from bounds yeah that's good if you did project from view from 
this, it's gonna like <laughs> create this small thing, which you can manually resize if you want to do that. But uh, this is easier. And that's that.